All right, Jared Randall here, coming back at you. Actually, um, not necessarily, it's sooner than I maybe had expected to come back with an update. Um, my, my last message, the, the energy at that time was very much one of, of surrender, um, to, a. Uh, a, a sense of this could be the last one for a while and and maybe this one will be the last one for a while maybe that's just uh, a spot I needed to get to um, personally I don't know um, so no promises one way or the other but here I am and so what's what's really coming through today is more of a a channel update if you will uh, an update for for what this is a sort of reaching out to I, ha I have about I don't know maybe 20 people who um, watch these videos uh, typically on a given video so it's not a big channel and I'm fine with that I don't I have uh, and had have had no necessary necessary expectations of this thing blowing up huge because I know that what I'm bringing through is not necessarily going to be popular. I'm not a, you know, romance tarot channel. Nothing wrong with that, although be careful of them. Uh, there are bad ones and there are better ones and all of them should be, you should take care of, um, of, you know, how you approach that. Um, I'm not a feel good, like, <laughs> I'm not necessarily a feel good person or a feel good channel. That's not my role. My role is to bring through messages that are frankly authoritative. Um, I, I don't speak from, um, and not the kind of authoritative of like, I'm an expert, I've studied this, therefore I know, and you must bow down before my superior research and knowledge. Not, not that at all. I have done a lot of researching. I have done a lot of reading. I have done a lot of yada, yada, yada. But that's not what this is. Uh, this channel, this YouTube channel, began with me, mostly with me reading my poetry. And, um, you know, when my poetry started to actually work um, was a time when as I look back on it now, I began to channel certain energies, certain things through me. And I found a voice that wanted to speak through me that was a voice of authority. It wasn't a voice of, I need to prove things to you. I need to give you evidence. I need to uh, convince you. Um, it's just a voice that is going to speak because it has things to say and there are things that must be said and there are energies that must be expressed. And these energies um, came from a very earthy, like, wanderer, uh, American hobo, American vagabond type place. And simultaneously from a... A, a cosmologically like stellar place literally amongst the stars literally the star uh beetlejuice or betel betelgeuse as as um depending on how you pronounce it there are other ways i've heard it pronounced um and it gets pronounced all kinds of ways in mainstream media and whatever that star and of course, since since my book of poetry came out in 2010, and um, the the star Betelgeuse started to show up for me in 2007, 2008, um, right in there. That that star has dimmed at times noticeably and then flared and dimmed and flared and dimmed. And it has been a subject of much scrutiny by scientists wondering what's going on. And it, it seems fairly certain that it is probably uh, going to go Nova, uh, explode at some point 
in our, you know, potentially in our lifetimes. Um, and, you know, that's the most likely explanation for that scientifically. In any case, I knew something was going on with that. I didn't even know for sure what that star was. Um, it's somewhat loosely connected to the movie Beetlejuice uh, with uh, Michael Keaton um, in it, um, you know, from back in the day, from my childhood. Um, but in any case, I that that is energy and information that's coming in. And I receive it. And is it coming from Beetle Beetlejuice, Beetlegoise? I, in some way, yes. And there are things I know about that now that I don't need to talk about right this minute. Um, but yes, it is coming from that. It's connected to that. And I don't speak from again, um, received knowledge or from a particular system of knowledge. I grew up in a certain type of Christianity. I have explored other types of Christianity. I have explored world myth, mythology, and I, I've taught it. Um, <laughs> I've, I've used it and implemented it and developed it in my own poetry and other writings that's not where this is coming from anything on here it's some just energy that's being received and it's about knowings okay and these knowings have to do with past life energies um star ancestry and um you know my own personal spiritual guides and also just what's going on energetically around me in my life and I'm very sensitive to what's going on in the world and what it means and that's part part of my role is to be here as a almost a barometer or a thermometer of what's going on and to respond to that. And as this has all developed it has become clear to me and revealed to me that all of this is very druidic and that I have broken down before and maybe deserves to be broken down again but is really coming through strongly in the last day or two especially with the the uh, super full moon the blue moon um, and it's a super moon so it's close so it was big it is was last night very big in the sky that's what a super moon means it's the moon is close to earth relatively closer to earth than you know sometimes it's relatively further from earth um and it was a powerful moon last night and a lot came through a lot happens for me in my sleep a lot happens for me in my dreams uh sometimes i remember these things and sometimes i don't but there's always much activity and much going on and so all these things are swirling and then there are moments of clarity where all the swirling crystallizes and so that is what i am intending to express here today which is if you're listening to this and you've been listening to my channel why are you here why are you listening um i i would like to hear from you i would like to know comment um at least leave a like if if you're listening on an ongoing basis and there's something here that is positive for you um otherwise i mean i don't i don't need you here if you don't like what uh, the messages are <laughs> you can go away um you're not going to hurt me that way um because again I, this is actually for the few there aren't many people ready to progress along the path that I'm trotting. I know that. It's not a surprise to me. There will be many more. It's going to take time. It's going to take... It's going to take a good seven years for things to progress. 
if you're here and something is striking you, it's hitting you and it's resonating with you or whatever it is, I, I would appreciate you reflecting that back at me so that I know what's going on so that I can better attune to what might be helping or, or not. And um, again, maybe it's just a different 20 people every time and I don't have uh, a regular uh, you know, set of listeners, but I don't think that's the case. I think that at least some of you I'm talking to on a regular basis and you're listening in and something is here. And so, yeah, um, I'm just being prompted to, to be very blunt about that today and to say, hey, you know, let me know. What, what is it about a particular video or something in general? Is there something going on in your life? Um, some, somehow these messages connect to your path, to your journey. Uh, let me know what that is. Um, because this, there's a lot more to come. And for me particularly, and, and partly this is so that I can, I, I know where I'm going. The question is, are you going there with me? Are we going there together? Is there some some reason why our paths are coinciding for for maybe for a long time, maybe for only a little period of time, and what is that? And at some point, at some point, we need to not uh, rely on these things to just be energetic. At some point, we need communication. We live in a world where that is not going away. Um, it's. It's a helpful and a healthy thing to to have communications that you know where things become concrete and we nail some things down and there, so there, there's a moment of that right now and maybe there will be no response and, and a, a, a non-response is a response as well so I'll I'll take it however it goes um, but yeah uh, it it's just just in the past day my my commitment to a a druidic path is has been redoubled and that's that's what this is that's what i am and again i've said this before you don't don't go looking up druids and there are there are druidic chapters around the world and different druidic orders none of that is me okay that's not what i am the druids were much more ancient than that and it's just the the easiest term for me to latch onto that people can recognize the druids do not mean ireland and you know celtic although it connects to that the druids were all over europe and were actually all over the world and were called different things in different places called themselves different things in different places but what they were were they were knowers those who could bring out the knowledge that was needed at a particular moment and they were balancers of energies and especially in touch with the the quote-unquote natural world and an interface between humans who impact that natural world and um that you know and that natural world and so um more and more that that is my work um, you know, when I walk through uh, a, a forest, when I, um, you know, interact with a body of water out, out in nature, there are things happening energetically. There, there's cleansing happening. There are energies being um, pulled up and released. And that, that is something that we need more of. So it, perhaps you are here and you also feel that happening when you maybe go for a walk or you go for a swim or um, you're out on a boat or whatever it might be. Perhaps it's something along those lines and there's, there's a lot more there. So one of the things that I'm considering and, and so this is uh, might be a more specific thing that you can interact with me around is uh, to uh, start supplying a bit more specifically some of my own practices and to just to just describe them um, and to see if any of those things resonate and help uh, others so and and it's not stuff you're gonna find in a book it's not stuff you're gonna find anywhere because it's just what I've received this path has happened to me as much as anything and that is why I'm here 
So, um, it just following, following the directions, following the energies, uh, listening to my guides, listening for the right moments. Uh, okay. So spirit wants me to share this and be done. Um, energetically, <laughs> My, my guides, my guides refer to me <laughs> as the blind lion, that among other things, but, <laughs> um, and, but that is one of the things that they refer to me as is the blind lion. And in that guys, that is, that is an ancient, that is an ancient bit of me that goes way, 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 way back beyond earth prior to earth. And so this is this is how I na I don't navigate by sight. I don't I don't look at the world around me and trust that that's how I need to navigate. I don't trust it. Um, I trust a deeper feeling, and it's more aligned to sound and frequency and vibration and you know energy. So this this may also help you if lions are coming up, if dragons are coming up, if. Uh, sound and frequency is extremely important to you. If you're very sensitive to these things, if you walk through a space and you pick up on just the, the feeling of the place. Um, so, you know, this is all very important because this means that um, there's something embedded in you. There are abilities probably, there are, there are ways of knowing and ways of balancing out energies that, that, you are capable of and that might be why you're here as well all right so i'm gonna leave it there uh leaving much love and peace and sending you all the light you can stand right now